Hello and welcome to episode 4 of Terminology Tuesday. Terminology Tuesday is where I have a term of the week and I break down what it means and where it fits into the bigger picture that is the sport of dodgeball. This week's term of the week is middle players. And so today I'm going to break down who the middle players are, what their roles are, and what are some qualities that make a really solid middle player. So let's jump right into it. So the graphics and strategies in Terminology Tuesday are based on competitive dodgeball, which is 6v6. And no matter what ball type you're playing, or if you are playing in a rec league with more players than six, um, the middle players are going to be the same, and the overall strategy and roles are going to be very similar. So in dodgeball, we don't really have set positions. So we have our corners, which I did talk about in last week's Terminology Tuesday. You can see that in episode three. So it's either you're playing corner or you're playing in the middle. So the four players in the middle are the middle players. It's going to be the same role. It's not like the person closest to the left corner has a different role than the person closest to the right corner. So what are some roles of the middle players? So the middle players kind of have to do a little bit of everything because sometimes they will have a ball in offensive defense and sometimes they won't. So it's important that they're kind of um, comfortable doing a little bit of everything, you know, throwing, catching, blocking, dodging. They feel comfortable no matter if they have a ball or if they don't. Another important thing is to pass the play call. So when you're in the middle, say your middle player is calling the play, your corners might not hear the play call. So it's really important as a middle player to just instinctually pass the play call. So repeat it, essentially. Even if your corner heard the play, you still want to repeat it just to make sure everyone's on the same page. Because the worst thing that can happen is you go up to the line to throw and somebody misheard the call thinking it was them or they didn't actually hear the call at all and the wrong person throws or too many people throw and then you don't have any balls on defense and that can really turn the game negatively in your favor so it's really important as a middle player to just just pass the pass the play call no matter what even if they've heard it another important role of the middle players is to really be aware of where the balls are on your team when your corner does throw it's a important for you as a middle player to be the one to cover them. So you're either going to pass the, your ball to the corner or you're going to shift into the corner position. But it's really important as a middle player to time that really well because if you pass the ball too soon or you shift over and screen your corner, you're going to leave your team open, especially if you pass the ball too soon. That's the one that I think hurts teams the worst because then neither your middle player or your corner has the ball. So your opponent's corner or whoever has the ball has a clear shot, full wind up with nobody to counter them. So it's really important to practice timing that right and waiting until your team isn't vulnerable to either pass the ball or to shift into corner. And finally, a role of the middle player is to act similarly to a corner. So when a middle player has a ball in offense or defense, they're actually doing a similar role as the corner would do. So on defense, they're being protected of, protective of the team. They're a step above the rest of the team, pump faking, moving a lot, distracting the opponents. And when they're on offense, they're being aggressive, pushing the line, pushing your opponents back. Um, very similar to what a corner is doing. The only difference is they're playing in the middle of the court. So if you haven't, I highly suggest you check out my episode three corners video for more in-depth role of what the corners do because when the middle player has a ball they tend to do similar things as the corners. So what makes a really good middle player? I think first and foremost being a very solid defensive player. What I mean by that is the middle players aren't always going to have a ball in their hand. You know there's only usually going to be three balls on defense so a couple of them won't have a ball. It's really important for those middle players to feel comfortable without a ball and being really solid at catching and dodging because the harder you are to get out, the better chance your team has to win. So being really solid at the defensive side of the ball is super important for middle players. Another thing that is super important, and I kind of talked about it during the roles section of this video, but it's covering your corner. And I think one thing that middle players really need to work on that I see a lot of teams fail at is properly timing the covering of your corner and it's just instinctually kind of knowing when your team is invulnerable and shifting over or passing the ball and it's just something to keep in mind because sometimes middle players they'll get panicked as soon as their corner throws they feel like oh I have to pass them the ball and it, it's not the best time so it's really a matter of your team getting 
getting more comfortable at knowing when that moment is that you should pass the ball or cover the corner. And last but not least, it's really important as a middle player to have a very accurate throw. You know, um, the less times it takes for you to hit your opponent, the better chance your team has to win. So a lot of people work so hard on having different types of throws with different curves, um, building the speed of their throw that they completely forget about the accuracy. It's way more important to have an accurate throw than it is to have a fast throw because you want to actually hit your opponent. So I highly suggest you, um, if you're throwing at a wall, you bring some tape, put some tape or a indicator of where you're trying to hit and try and hit that in the minimum amount of throws and do it in different spots on the wall because you're going to have opponents doing different movements and being in different positions. But it's super, super important. I can't say it enough to have a really accurate throw. I hope this gave you an insight on the role of the middle players. Again, um, please check out my corners video from last week if you haven't, because these kind of go hand in hand. These are the two main positions that you're going to be playing in dodgeball. If you did enjoy this video, please like the video and subscribe to my channel. And don't forget to drop a comment with any other terms that you'd like me to cover in Terminology Tuesday. And I'll see you guys in the next one.